Hi guys, I'm Tarsh with Unique Me 33 Healing and Empowerment. I'm going to be doing today's um, Ascension messages for all of my, oops, I haven't fixed this, all of my fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, for the month of December 2019. I've got some extra notes that came out during shuffling the cards um, for the fire signs. Uh, what it says is purpose known. And I, what I got the feeling of is like people are starting to finally see like what, what the purpose is for Ascension, why their gifts are awakening, why we have these spiritual gifts anyway, things like that. Adjustments will be need Adjustments will need to be made. Service to others. Don't let, let fear hold you back. And then breakthroughs, breakthroughs, breakthroughs. And so I just have this really good feeling like a lot of excitement this month for the fire signs, a lot of forward movement. Um, it just is a really good energy to just push forward and be yourself in. So make sure that um, you're taking advantage of this energy this month and doing whatever you feel led to do and uh, enjoy it. Universal energy. Am I supposed to take all three of those? Any of them? Okay, I'm not going to take any of them. What messages do you have for my fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for the month of December 2019, please. What messages do you have? Archangel Michael. You are working very closely with this powerful Archangel who is protecting and guiding you through this situation. The situation of knowing what your, what your gifts are supposed to be used for. Knowing what your divine life purpose is. These breakthroughs that you're going through, you're protected through them. You have nothing to worry about. This is divinely planned, divinely timed. On the right time, they're going to happen. Um, some of you may have already went through some breakthroughs and are just adjusting to these breakthroughs and the gifts that you have and the energy that's being felt throughout your body. I know that could be challenging and it can test your, your human self and, to, and, and tempt you to not want to go any further. However, like you're in a really good space this month, don't allow these insecurities to hold you back. Push through these fears and ask Archangel Michael and Raphael to protect you, to guide you, to lead, lead and instruct you to, 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 and to help you continue with healing any 3D ego issues that may come up. Clear yourself. This is talking about clearing yourself from any energies that you may have absorbed from anybody two three four during the holidays or that you may absorb during the holidays keep a hedge of protection around you make sure that you're putting whatever color intuitively you feel led expanding it expanding it outside of your heart space and into your auric field um using stones again six six i was told to tell you but using stones again is coming up with this card it came up earlier i think with the earth signs but anyway uh using crystals and stones to help keep yourself clear I'm hearing black obsidian would be really good for people right now. And I'm also hearing some of you need 303. Some of you need to be carrying um, uh, Moldavite. Moldavite is really good for spiritual transformation of all sorts, for your gifts coming online, all that stuff. And with the fire signs going through so much transformation and so many breakthroughs this month, and even possibly last month, um, it's really good to keep yourself grounded and clear of any kind of lower vibrating energies of fear, doubt, confusion, whatever it may be. So when those things come up, make sure that you're asking Archangel Michael to protect you from those things and to help you to get past those things. Ear chakras. Notice messages that appear as sounds, music, and words from both external sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. With these breakthroughs are coming clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, all of the clair gifts. You know, your intuition just coming really on, on target, on spot on intuition, um, as well as ringing and tones in your ears increasing or uh, the vibration increasing because you've done so much work and have just really pushed through these transformations and breakthroughs are happening so you're finally at that point of hearing or understanding what you're hearing um, both internally and a telepathic level and externally with your physical 3d human ears so whatever you're hearing is exactly what you're supposed to be hearing write these things down if you feel led to write them down so that you can share them with people in the future some of these experiences that you're having i'm going to remind you guys that i have that spiritual um that group about sharing your supernatural spiritual experiences with Trish Poe. So please go there and share some of these experiences with me. What I mean by supernatural experiences are those crazy uh, experiences that happen with either like spirits or angels or your higher self or, you know, other beings of light or even of darkness. It doesn't matter. Like share those experiences with me, those supernatural experiences. Um, 
Okay, I'm hearing something about using, um, say it one more time, please. Quart, I'm seeing quartz, but I'm seeing phantom quartz, so. I can't believe this is so dusty, but anyway, this is phantom quartz, and there's many types of different phantom quartz, but the way that you know phantom quartz is it'll be like clear, and then it'll have different colors throughout it or on the tips of it or something of that sort. So using phantom quartz is going to be really good for some of you right now. A lot of you, as well as the moldavite, I'm, I'm hearing it's real, real important to get you a piece of moldavite. This would be like a, um, a meteorite that has came from the heavens, and it's, it helps in guiding and assisting. Um, some of you are also hearing angels speak to you through music, through um, uh, lyrics, uh, you, you know, music lyrics, as well as um, like hearing like symphony or orchestra type instruments um, playing in the background as you're talking to people and things like that. That would be angels as well. What other messages am I supposed to take this one? Emotional sensitivity. Honor and respect your deep sensitivity as, is it, as it is a gift to us all. This is sensitive, sensitivity to other people's energies, to the energies around you, to people's pain, to, to um, whatever, whatever it is. This is empathic abilities that are really coming on, on uh, spot on um, empathic abilities is what I'm hearing. So a lot of people are mastering, mastering their empathic abilities. But this is about... Uh, making sure that you're protecting yourself from these energy, lower vibrating energies that are, you're feeling from other people. When you go into a room, maybe during the holidays, when you're spending time with people and you feel like a lower vibrating energy, instantly make sure that you're pushing and rejecting that energy back to, to, to whoever it is and keeping that hedge of protection around you, okay? Black obsidian, I'm hearing black tourmaline for protection if you don't feel div divinely protected. However, I feel as if you're divinely protected, so... Um, this is also not just about emotional sensitivity. I'm hearing sensitivity to different foods that you may not have been sensitive to before, but you are now. This is due to some of the breakthroughs and the repairs to your DNA or your DNA changing and transforming. So 177, I was told to tell you, are there any more of these cards at the bottom? If you get nervous, focus on service. Not even if you're nervous. Focus on service, period. It's time for you to get your gifts out into the world. Start helping people to ascend through higher states of consciousness. Don't let your fears hold you back. Don't let your past or what you have been taught or what you have been told, those program things that you have learned, um, don't let those things hold you back. You now know the truth. You have enough um, resources to push you forward into providing whatever services it is you feel like you're supposed to provide. So make sure that you're doing those things. It says, put your entire intention on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. It's going to put those people, places, and things in front of you that you're supposed to give service to. You'll know. <laughs> is what I hear. You'll know. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and read this one because I feel led to. Throat chakra, a lot of activations are coming on. So most of you are going to be led to speak your truth in many different ways with people, with those people that you're giving service to or what have you. But this is speaking about your gifts. This is speaking about uh, the truth of the Bible or different spiritual uh, texts text that there is out there. You know the truth and the falsities of those things. So it's about time to share those things like that. A lot of you have done meditations with like Jesus, Mother Mary, other ascended masters from many different religions and are starting to know the truth. So it's time to put those things out there without fear of judgment from others or either asking to be pushed past those fears of judgment of others because we too used to judge people for not believing what we believe. Um, when I was a, a Christian, I still consider myself to be a Christian. I still follow the Christian ways. I don't do everything the way that they say. However, I know different truths because I've connected with Jesus many, 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 many times. He's my best friend. He's my very best friend. And now I'm connecting a lot with Mother Mary. But they're going to help you to speak your truth and to tell the truth of the matter and whatever it may be. Universal Energies, what messages do you have, please? Thank you. You're very close to achieving your goals. This gives me such a great feeling. I just feel like the sky is the limit. You know, looking out up into the uh, sky and into the moon, I just feel like the sky is the limit. And, you know, it'll only be you that will hold you back as long as you're doing what you feel led and guided every day. So pray every day when you get up. And at, first of all, thank your higher self and source God for waking you up to another day to serve them, serve 
God and to get to know God and your higher self better. And then ask, what is it that I'm supposed to do today? God, lead and instruct me through my day. Let my words be your words. Give me intuitive insight into what I'm supposed to achieve today. What are my goals for this day? What have you, this week, this month, whatever. So make sure that you're doing that because you have the resources available to you. You are so close to like knowing or figuring out what your next steps are or you already know so congratulations i feel a lot of um soul star activations coming on for a lot of people so have if you haven't went through the activations right above your crown chakra and your soul star or even your transpersonal the um oh i always forget this one the transpersonal and the sorts of the sea. Anyway, um, some of those might be activating for some of you and um, you'll getting a, be getting a lot of information from the cosmos, from the universe, from the sky, what have you. Starseed information, um, information that you're supposed to be putting out into the world. 1111, some of you may be um, aligning with your twin flames gifts is what I'm hearing. So this might be another thing that's pushing you into more breakthroughs. Um, just a really really good energy right now a time for healing so this isn't talking about that deep emotional healing this is that um you know the rest of the ego that stuff that's coming up this is talking about um healing things that have to do with uh issues in communication with uh, a spouse or somebody that you may be in a relationship with or even with your twin flame um I'm hearing the words coming together or unity. So this is a, a healing time of, of unity, coming together with your partner, with other uh, star seeds, with other healers, whatever it may be. This It's a time of coming together. I'm hearing excitement and and like regeneration. So this is just giving people a new energy. A lot of a lot of you may have been sleeping your life away or had like lack of energy due to all of these activations in your DNA and repairs and stuff like that. But I'm feeling like a new energy coming, a new um, a new outlook, a new whatever. It's just a really good transforming, pushing forward energy. What other messages do you have, please, for all my Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for the month of December 2009? Am I supposed to take this one? I heard no on this one. No on this one? Because when I turned it over, I heard yes, but I heard no as I was looking at it. So I'm going to keep them both. Okay, a fiery climax approaches. Some of you, this is about your twin flame or a uh, spouse or a romantic relationship. And there's some fiery, sexier times approaching. You guys are finally starting to get into uh, union even more um, balanced out, more centered with each other. Um, starting to understand each other's likes and dislikes. And it's just flowing. I'm hearing that things are just flowing. So um, a lot of love, romance, candlelit dinners, candlelit sexy times. Um like just romance in general, flirting, slapping of each other's butts, things like that. So a lot of you are just three, two, one are going to be really having a fun month this month. Yes, they said. And I'm literally like seeing like this violet flame being lit within um, the twin flame community. So for some of you that are just getting into union or have already been into union, you might be feeling like that, that violet flame um, being ignited in both of you or either um, the coming together of the violet flame for you guys. Conclusions are within reach. I feel really good about this card too, but I have no idea what it means. But I have a really good inner, uh, a really good feeling of energy that a lot of things are finally coming to head. Understandings is what I'm getting. But I'm going to read what this card says. And I was told to move on to the new other cards. And this is a full moon eclipse card. Full moon eclipse, 96. And just like that, a door slams shut. If you pulled this card, it suggests that the situation you're asking about it about to reach a peak or has just done so and things are now out of your hands. What you're experiencing now is what your soul signed up for. Yay, this makes me feel so good. 
so uh, or signed up for a way for you to learn and for your soul to evolve so allow events to unfold and be easy on yourself if you're letting go of someone or something know that it is the right time as hard as it may be forgiving someone for what they have did could be key to resolving this situation in a positive way it doesn't make it right what they did but it releases it so that you can move on attuned to the moon that which is meant for me will not pass me by additional meanings for this card doors which slam shut will now not reopen so all of those things that you put in your past are now going to stay in the past you've done enough work to make them stay in the past so good good job on that um, forgiveness will set you free of karma meditation and yoga are a recommended are recommended now and cd control and let events unfold okay so let events unfold as they may so that's what this card was Okay. Animal Spirit Guides, what messages do you have for December 2019 for all my Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, for all my fire signs, please? What messages do you have for all my Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for the month of December 2019, please? What messages do you have? I think this is the most positive reading that I've done today. I've done the air and the earth signs, which were pretty positive. However, like the energy of this reading for the fire signs is just magnificent. It's just very happy, very charged, very energetic, very joyful. And I didn't feel that way with all of them. So this is pretty cool. I, I'm really happy for you guys. Unicorn, because I know like it seems like the past few months, you guys have been going through a lot of dark nights of the souls, a lot of changes and transformations, a lot of not knowing where you fit in or what you're supposed to do with your gifts. And now it's like finally the cycle has ended on that and you're finally moving in to this new energy this this joyful um freedom filled energy indulge your creative imag imaginative and magical side through some form of artistic expression so again this came out in i think both of the other readings and I'm, I'm feeling like the need to paint a lot of people might have the need to paint or feeling like they need to paint drawing chalking doing music meditation uh, making meditations this could be anything doing craftsy type things working out in the garden um planting flowers, making snow angels. Like I'm just seeing so many different things. There's a lot of, some of you, this is about being creative with making ornaments for the Christmas season or the holiday season, but this could be so many different things. I'm going to actually look and see what the card says. I mean, the book says on this card because it's, I'm feeling led to. Um, Where are you at here? I'm on the wrong book. That's why I'm not getting it. Wrong book, Trish. Wrong book. Unicorn. Okay. Whatever the artistic vehicle through which you express your most creative self, whether it's drawing, poetry, painting, music, acting, or any form of creative expression, make it a priority in your life by devoting some time, energy, and perhaps even money towards artistic pursuits. I'm hearing playing instruments as well. Let the longest or the, let the longing of your heart determine what the form of your imaginative expression is, but let it be one that elicits passion and purpose. Allow it to evolve as needed without acceding to any internal perfectionism about the end pr product so like don't be hard on yourself about whether or not you feel like you know how to paint or draw or write or do music or whatever however if you're feeling led to do it do it anyway because God is going to express himself or itself through you and your artistic expression so allow yourself to be just present in the moment when you're doing whatever it is that you're uh, being creative and um the process itself is where the magic is. Let that alone be your satisfaction and delight, and you'll be pleased with the results. So that's what that's about, guys. Animal Spirit Guides, what other messages do you have for all my Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for the month of December? Two th Am I supposed to take these, both of them? Okay. Seagull and Ladybug. Now is the time for deep emotional healing. And um, I'm getting upper upper chakra activations 
Okay, and what I'm hearing is this was like November. There was a lot of um, upper chakra activations, and now you're feeling the effects of these activations in your life now. You're starting to see um, what these gifts are and things like that. So um, this is more about adjustments needing to be made because of the emotional healing that you've been doing emotional physical spiritual this is not just about emotional this is healing in general i'm hearing you guys have really been pushing through and um a lot of people have been doing meditate uh guided meditations which have helped them to release uh karmic things is what i'm hearing emotional baggage with people from your past is what i'm hearing so some of you may be going through uh, deep emotional healing with people from your past, cutting cords, being triggered by them. Um, or it could be the opposite. You are finally moving from that state la from last month being, you know, um, triggered and things like that into more of a balance this month with your, with your emotions and things like that. Ladybug, this is a time of good fortune and abundance, so be willing to receive all good things in your life. Just a confirmation of what I've been trying to tell you guys about this energy that I'm feeling, this joyful, peaceful, independent, um, giving energy, unconditional love. Like, it's just, it's so, so good right now. I'm hearing positivity, good luck, abundance, fortune, independence. And I'm also hearing like an abundance of assistance, an abundance in, in um, intuitive insight. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull another animal cord. I was told to. What other messages do you have, please, for December 2019 for all my fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, what? Spider, dream weaver. It is time to dream big. If you're not dreaming big, dream big. If you don't know how to dream, ask Source God, higher self to show you what you should be dreaming about and what could be brought into your life if you just work towards that. So trust the creative spark that you've been feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten. So this could this could also be talking about um, you know putting out your. Uh, your testimony and sharing that with the world this could be about journaling things that are happening to you experiences yes okay i'm hearing lots of new experiences for a lot of you because of kundalini or life force energy chi energy that has been uh activated or um new activations that's came on that's helped you to uh really move forward but anyway this is about dreaming big and knowing two 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 yes four twos anyway this is about dreaming big and, and allowing your dreams to become a reality so however you need to do that whether it's manifesting exercises keeping a manifestation journal speaking positive things out into the universe so that you receive those positive things back whatever it may be um being of service to others will also help you to manifest your dreams and desires and um some of you have a fear of spiders that you need to overcome is what i just heard <laughs> And again, this is about creativity and, and, you know, using that creative spark to uh, accomplish your dreams and desires or to accomplish your goals. Yeah. Let's see if there's any uh, confirmation cards that would like to come out today. Thank you. Flirtation. So I'm feeling like you know, this has a lot to do with this fiery climax approaches and what I was talking about with, you know, uh, soulmates, twin flames, uh, committed relationships, a lot of flirt and sexy times, candlelit dinners, slapping on the butt, kissing, um, blowing in the ear. Like I'm seeing all kinds of like really flirty times and like it's bringing a new energy. You know, some of you that's had some of these breakthroughs, it's brought this new energy of love for yourself. So you're capable and able to better show love to your spouse or to other people, even if it's not a romantic relationship. Maybe it's somebody that's single and is starting to flirt with people because they feel confident and they feel good about themselves. So congratulations, guys. Some of you are just learning how to flirt and how to be romantic and things like that. So um, I hear like some of you are like watching videos or asking other people questions on how to be that, that type of person, that flirty romantic person or what have you. Am I supposed to take any of these? Am I supposed to take this one? Okay. Am I supposed to take these two? Okay. These two now. 
All right, but anyway, um, a lot of flirty times. Somebody might be receiving flowers. I'm seeing the flowers here. So I hear that you deserve the world. You deserve the moon. And I feel like somebody's just trying to give that to you. Okay. Somebody's just trying to show you all kinds of love. All right. Uh, defense, a number two card. I'm not real for sure what this is uh, what this is pertaining to. I'm not really getting anything off of it. Let me read, uh, see what the, the book has to say about this card. I'm going to end up catching my sleeve on fire one of these days. Defense. Oh, I'm passing it up here. This is about action, material values. When this card is dealt in a reading, it shows a need to defend something the questioner values. Starting up a new business, playing the stock market, a quick business deal with a profit, uh, a possession that makes a leap in value, or beating a competitor. So this may just, I don't know. It, it could be so many different things for so many people, but that's what it means. I'm not really getting anything else off of that. Maybe that card wasn't supposed to be taken, and that's why I'm not fill in anything. Let me just leave this out just in case. Okay. Are there any more of these that like to come out? Okay. What other confirmation cards? Which Am I supposed to take this one? Assertion. I'm hearing asserting yourself in loving, positive ways, being compassionate, being of service, um, pushing through any of the challenges when it comes to adjustments that need to be made and your uh, life, your spiritual life, physical life, your relationships, all of that stuff. This is a number one card that's talking about being positive, positive trans, uh, positive transformations, thinking positive, uh, positive actions and words, things of that sort. Um, let me read what this says to you and see if there's anything else that comes out of that assertion. When dealt in a reading, this card shows that the opinions and wishes of others do not easily sway the questioner and indicates a strong determina determination to maintain his or her own course in life. So this is talking about those people that may try to tell you this is not the right way to go, you're crazy, what have you. Push past those things anyway. These people will eventually be inspired by you and asking you questions. So um, make sure that you're pushing past that. Um, the card reveals that the inquirer has a clear vision of what he or she wants and knows how to achieve it. It also indicates the need to work harder and longer than most to achieve success in the respect of others. The danger when this card appears is one, is one of acting on impulse. So don't act on impulse. Just make sure you're getting uh, proper guidance on which way to move forward and then move forward. Um, this also could mean uh, sudden acts, times requiring impulsive courage, an unexpected challenging situation, a need for quick action or defense of one's position. So that's what else that is talking about. Okay, I couldn't remember if I had read to you guys what that means. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and read the I am affirmations. I think there was a few of them. Okay, yeah, there was three of them. And then I'll let you guys go. I am worthy of living the life I want to live. Yes, you are. You just have to believe it and fight for it and do what you got to do to achieve it. I am the change I wish to see in others. I am a hard worker. Today, I will accomplish what I have set out to do. There's that hard work again. So make sure you're putting in all the hard work that you can, the dedication, commitment, and to achieving your goals and your dreams and desires will be manifested. This is a really good reading. A lot of good things are going to happen for the fire signs this month, and I'm so happy for you guys. Please like, share, subscribe, and follow. Let me know down in the comments below if this reading resonates with you. I hope everybody has a wonderful December and a great holiday season. I love you. Bye.